We haven't officially been introduced yet, so I'll go ahead and let you know now. I'm Brian Jones. This is Junior Edmonds. We're both investigators with the Sheriff's Office, okay? I know you already talked to Sergeant Clack and gave him a little bit of information, which is on this sheet of paper right here. So I'll kind of just kind of skip over a lot of this to just say, you know, I'll just verify you 12, 18 miles road. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know your social? If you don't, that's fine. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I'm going to notate the day's date down here. And the time is about 725. Seems like a little bit later. First thing I want to let you know, we're here to talk to you about what happened out there, Miles Road. Um, I want to let you know right quick, you're not under arrest, you're not in charge of anything. All we want to know is just try to figure out exactly what happened to you. So, you know, you were out there and you kind of, you know the story. Um, your sister, Miss Chitty, is here. And uh, Diana, Chitty. Diana Chitty, yeah, she's here. We talked to her, and she knows you're here. And I uh, just want you to know that she is up here, and, and, and we have talked to her and let her know that we're going to be talking to you, which she pretty well knew that was coming, okay? Um, first things first, tell me what you know happened. I mean, start from the very beginning, well, and tell me what you know happened. Well, when I went out to the road because I know Amanda comes down to pick her up when it's rainy. Mm -hmm. when it was a little bit rainy earlier. Well, I went up to the road and tell Amanda that I won't be able to come for two weeks because I got a restriction uh -huh. two weeks. And I told her everything, and I was going back down to the house. And there's, like, a, a little gate right there, but there's a cable hanging there. Uh -huh. But I saw somebody run across it and was hotelling it. So my uncle don't like no one on the land, and I have to get him off because, you know, in the past there's people trying to start fires and stuff like that. Uh -huh. well, try to plant something that don't need to be there. Mm -hmm. well, I went to go try to go see where he went. I was looking around, looking around, looking around. I went to go go see if Amanda knew where he went. Had she seen him or anything? But when I went to go get, she had to go follow her. She was already halfway down the, the road with the, the truck to go pick up a little chase from the bus. Mm -hmm. Because, and when I went there, I said, I can't I can catch up with her. That truck, and I just stopped, and I went to go turn around to go back, go back to the house. Well, when I turned around, I saw somebody kind of tallish, because you know how far distant it looks like somebody's taller up in something higher, mm -hmm. like on that back porch. Well, he was dressed in grayish, blackish pants, black boots, and a black jacket on, and a black beanie on. And he saw me and looked at me and ran. And he was white. He was a white man. He ran away down to the creek bank, and I, I kind of thought that was kind of dumb because there ain't nothing down that way except just dead end. Mm -hmm. Except a little bit of four-wheel trails. So I went to go see if anything was gone or missing because, you know, how somebody tried to break in and, and go run away. Uh, I seen the chair knocked over, and I saw a bunch of reddish looking stuff. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Kool-Aid myself. Because Amanda kept on saying it was Kool-Aid, and I said it, it didn't look like Kool-Aid. Okay. I went and looked out the back door, and I saw some, like, you know, like drag marks. Mm -hmm. Well, I seen that, and I saw a bunch of more red stuff, and I figured out that when Amanda came up, that Alana was missing. And so I went out and started look, helping Amanda look for her, and I found Alana out on the side of that road, you know, Wasn't you there? Hmm? Huh? Was you there? At the scene? Yeah. I mean, afterwards, yeah, I came up. Well, where she was, she was laying, well, all out. And I got Amanda. I got sick on my stomach. I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I just grabbed the phone from her, and I was talking to some person, talking about CPR, fresh on the middle of her chest, three times, and blow. Mm -hmm. and nothing was happening. I kept on telling them there's nothing happening. Is that there's just a bunch of blood running out of her mouth. And that's about it. Okay. When you came up initially, when you first came up, yes, sir. how did you come up to the house? To a lot of those house, a lot of the man I just walked right up in their backyard because I go to their house frequently mm -hmm. because we, we negotiate like the family because I had to go over there every day. Mm -hmm. Bay the basement said, if I'm in trouble. Well, 
I just walked up and I didn't notice anything wrong because usually the front door is always open. Uh-huh. But the back door, it was wide open. That's what I kind of thought was strange. Okay. And I went out and tried to follow and run after Amanda and try to wave at her stop. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't get her attention. So I went back and went up to the house to see if Alana was still there. Oh, hold on just a second. You said you came up from the trail. And I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're talking about that trail that you, you said leads. I mean, where does the trail lead? I mean, where, where are you coming from? Uh, you know where the white pickup truck is sitting at? Yeah. Well, right there, that trail that leads all the way back there into a little gate. Okay. That leads in right in front of my house. That's why I've seen that person running through there. Okay, okay. So you were coming from your house. Now right. from the top of the road to talk to Amanda. Picking up Alana from the high, middle school bus. I thought you just said you came from your house up the trail and you were coming up that way, and that's when you saw the back door and all the window. No, I was coming up. When I talked to a man at the top of the road when she was going to pick up Alana because mm-hmm. it was all rainy, well, I talked to her about why I can't go over there for two weeks. Mm-hmm. And that's why I ain't going to be over there. I was heading back down to the house, and uh, Alana and Amanda was already headed down that way. It took me a little while to get back down to the road. Well, no, when you said the top of the road, where, where are you talking about at the top of the road? You Alana's saw? driveway, Amanda's driveway. Okay. But my house, a couple more houses down, a little okay. further down. Okay. Because we can make that little pass back there once a couple of years ago because there's different people living in that house. Mm-hmm. But they just recently moved there. And... My aunt was living there, and she had kids, and the people behind her had kids, and they cut a trail. They made a four-wheeler trail and go-kart trail. Okay. Because all it did made a little U. Okay. So you talked to them. How did you get from your house? I walked down that main road, and I saw somebody run across, you know, I don't know if you know, all the way down, because I don't know if you went down the trail. Because... Well, when I walked down there, I saw somebody just run and jumped over the cable and kept on running. Okay. And I went to go see who it was because I told you that my uncle don't like no one out there. Okay. So I decided to go follow him, try to see who it was. I didn't find anybody. Were you running after him? I was trying to run, but I can't. My ankle. Because I kind of cracked it on top of my right there. I did something bad to it. I don't know what I did. Okay. And I, I tried to run, but I couldn't. So I kind of sped walk, you know, how to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, speed walk. And I tried to run down the road to try to catch up with Amanda and try to wave at her. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get her attention, so I just stopped and I turned around. But when I turned around to go back to the house, if Alana was there, I used to ask her if she's seen anybody. But that's when I saw that black dude, well, blackish figure in the back door but it's actually a white dude. Okay, is that the same person that you saw jump in the fence? Yes, sir. The, 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 the All white? black. Uh, like gray slackish pants. Okay, so when did you first see this guy dressed in dark clothes? When he went and jumped over the cable. Which is where? Down the road a little bit further. If you on the main Miles Road mm-hmm. road, Kept on going and leads you down to a stop sign that says take a right to Coon Circle. Mm-hmm. Well, right there, there's a cable right there because mm-hmm. we had to put it up because we was trying to keep people off it because they kept around their four wheelers and stuff down through there. Okay. And that's where I seen him when I was coming around that corner and I was looking directly down there and somebody just ran and jumped over the cable and kept on running. Okay. Which way were they running? Down the trail. From Miles from Road. From Miles Road? No, down to the back, to the, on the trail, going up, upwards, down and somewhere in there. The Callahan's. Well, the backyard. Where were you at? Yeah. On the main road. So you were on Miles Road? Yes, sir. Walking down back to the house, and I saw somebody jump over the cord, and I just decided to follow them, try to see what they're doing. And, but I didn't see anybody else, and I went down there to see if Amanda or anybody else seen him. So I go. I thought you turned around to get Amanda. Yeah, I went to go to go to Callahan's house, but when I went to go to go to him, the truck was halfway down the thing to go get chased. The driveway. 
Yeah. You, you saw her leaving. I kept trying to run after her and try to wait and try to say, hey, stop real fast, but I couldn't get her attention. And that's after you came into the backyard and saw the back door open. And... Yeah, because I thought Lana was home. But you said also that you didn't see where the black guy or the, the guy in the dark clothing went. Yeah. But you ran up and you could get all the way up into the backyard of the Callahan's, enough to where you could see Amanda going down the road. But you didn't notice him then? You made contact with him no, when I turned on the around, road? When I, you know where the Callahan's main road is? Mm -hmm. I was on that road and I turned around and I saw him. And he turned off and ran. You saw him on the back porch of the vehicle? Yeah, on that back, back porch. How could you see him on the back porch from the main road? Because I was halfway down the driveway. You can see halfway on to, and all the way to the house because we haven't cleared it out. Hmm. On which side of the house? On the back side of the house, in the corner. I thought the main road... Yeah, so the you see the, the front of the house, but when you keep on going down a little bit further, you can see part of the back of the sides and then the back door. How far away from the house would you say that was? Like a good far away, because all I seen was the black person. Like it's, you saw, I saw a white face. You saw a black person or a white person? I want to say black, but it's not, because he's all dressed in black. But I, you can see his face, he's white. And this is the same person who... Jumped over, the cable. jumped over the fence of the cable up towards your house, going down there that you followed. Yes, How far in there did you follow him? I lost his trails, and I started looking all the way around down there. You know, I'm going to try to say that you know where I live and everything, but it's not. You don't. Well, if you keep on going down there, I was looking around in that field area. Mm -hmm. If he was hiding around in there, but I didn't see him. So, so instead of just... Coming on up to the trail to the Callahan's house, what did you do? I was looking around to see if he went down to there's a creek down. If he kept on going down that way, mm -hmm. well, if he, you know where that back that main road is, if mm -hmm. he kept on going straight, leads down to a creek. Well, on my side of the property we got a creek, so I started glancing through there and I didn't see anything like they run through. You know, mm -hmm. leaves being turned over. I didn't see none of that. Okay. Now I started to keep on looking, so I just. Kept on looking. I didn't see nothing else. Uh, I went up there to go and try to get Amanda or Alana. When you come up from the creek, where did you come up from the creek at? Out of that main area. I'm going to say there's two trails. Maybe I'm having some, some, some problems here. I just want to make sure we're all on the same sheet of music. Yeah. Here's some tissues down there. Let me grab that box of tissues down there. Just on this board, just for the best you can, indicate where the house is, where the road is, the main road, the, the, the link, and all this other stuff. i got to erase that one, because if you want the main everything. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. All right. Well, there's their backyard. Well, there's this trail that leads all the way back here. Mm -hmm. That loops around a little bit, mm -hmm. and then leads out like that. Okay. Leads to my house. Okay. But it, over here is a field. Okay. And that's my house over here at the end of the cable. Okay. This cable leads right here. Mm -hmm. A little like that, a little bit just like that. Yep. And it goes like that. Yep. Well, right here I got a thing down here. And this would be the Callahan Road. And that's the road that runs in front of the house? Yes, sir. Okay. But it keeps them going down to the creek. Okay. Well, I got this trail that uh, it, it goes everywhere. That leads all the way down to the creek. Here's this one that goes all over here. It just stops because it leads to a deer stand. And this, this bottom one, I'm down the creek bank, it leads to their road. Okay. And, and it there's a little trail that right here on that the road that swoops around and leads right to their backyard. Mm -hmm. And I came right through there. And it, well, it was really close to the house. Mm -hmm. 
I just went up there, but I couldn't catch up with a man who catch his head and all. Okay, so you came up from here? Yes, sir. So where were you at when you started? Well, up there at the top of their road. Because stop them, well, tell them, man, I can't okay. get over, be able to go to their house. Okay, and then you did what? And I went right back down to my house. But when I got around a little curve, here, this mile's road. Because it keeps on going. Mm-hmm. On Miles Road, there's a bunch of curves and everything. Well, I went out of one curve. I seen him jump over the cable and, and he kept on running. This cable? Yes, sir. Okay. And he, he kept on running, running. Which way? He kept on running straight. He didn't go off because he can't go off in Bob's yard because Bob, he'll shoot. I know he would. Okay. He's always up. Okay. He's always outside. Okay. And right on the other side, there's a fence mm-hmm. until they hit Callahan's yard. Okay. And so he could have has to stay in that one area. Okay. So, and so I, what did I, you do? Uh, so I just went right through the trails, and I just went on through here to this back trail. Mm-hmm. And I stopped, and I didn't see nobody in their backyard or anything, but I noticed the back door was open. And I wasn't paying look too much attention about it, anybody trying to break in. Mm-hmm. And I just walked back, and there's that field. So I walked back, because right here, where Alana was sitting at, where her body, it leads right back here mm-hmm. through the field. Because there's this open area over here on the other side of the house. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Over here, there it leads another trail to that field. Okay. But I took, I didn't go that that trail because I, I don't know if anybody wanted me to go on that trail because that's their property. So I just decided to turn it back around and I'm going to look, scan around to that field and I scan out through the bottom, through that trail. Okay. And scanning out. And you ended up where? I ended up at the bottom of the creek, and I came up, and I was looking around, didn't see anybody. And I went up, and I know how you can go up the diameter, and you lead to another trail. Mm-hmm. So I lived up here and went to the backyard and went to Amanda, tried to catch up with Amanda, but she was already leaving. Okay, and at what time did you see the, 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 the guy on the back porch? When I, I quit running for it. I don't Which, know the time, because... No, 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 where were you at? Oh, up on that road. Halfway up here. So you were already up here. You'd already been gone back out and tried to make contact with the man, and you were on up here. Yes, sir. Good way, you think? Yeah. Yeah, the way you can see the back porch and the other porch in the back where the door was open at. Okay. All right. Okay. Got my head around that a little better. Okay. So after you try to make contact with Amanda, and you realize she's too far up the road for you to make contact with, you do what? So I just stopped and I'll turn around and see if Alana was home. Okay. But that's when I seen that, that tallish, blackish dude, but it ain't he ain't black, he's white. Okay. But I seen his face. All right. And he just took off and ran down to the you know, this main creek. So yeah, he just so ran you're, down there. You're coming down out of the, you're coming down off this main road here. Yes, the driveway. And you look and you see this guy on the back porch where? Where uh, where the main door was open at. Okay, so right he's up door. by the back door, and you can see him up by the back door. Yes, sir. From up here? Yes, sir. Okay. From here up here. We're near this open area. Okay. So I quit it, end it, because you can see him a little bit backwards. Okay, so where, and you said he ran, or where did he ran? You said he back down right, toward the he creek? He just ran down here to the creek. To yeah. the, there's a little driveway down there. So he ran from the back of the house? Yes, sir. Out the side yard and down there? No, the not, driveway? Yes, sir. And you went where? I was looking to see if anything was disturbed. I wasn't going to chase him because I couldn't really run for him. Okay. So where did you check for things being disturbed? Well, I, well, you, when I, the Callahans, they leave their door open. All I do is open the door and say, hello, I'm here. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I did, but the, that, the computer chair was tipped over. And I've seen a bunch of red. Mm-hmm. And that got me kind of worried and kind of thinking that something happened. But okay. at first I thought I wanted to spill her Kool-Aid and running around, but no one answered. And that's when I kind of something popped up in my head that something bad happened. And I went up there and looked at the back door and looked around. There was more red and leading out to the back. Mm-hmm. That's when I Amanda was coming back up. And I was looking around seeing looking around in the yard and Amanda asked why I was still back in the yard. I said I seen somebody run up into 
to my yard in that back area. Mm-hmm. And I was seeing if y'all was there, but I can't find Alana. Okay. And where did you pull her in? When she pulled up and came inside. And, and I was coming back in. Coming back in with what? From the front door. Because I was checking out through the creek banks if he tried to ditch your body. Because there's another trail right here. At least there be Callahan's backyard. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the first thing I checked, and I just looped around and went back up to the house. All right. And that's when Amanda was already there. Hang, hang tight a second. You're inside the house. Okay. You walk in the front door. What did you do when you walk in the front door? I noticed, well, I was, took off my shoes because you can't walk in the house with the shoes on and the carpet because that's made in the world. Okay. So I went out there and looked around, and I was looking around. I, I was too figure out with my shoe because I saw a bunch of red, and I saw all that black trail. But I, I was not even worried about the black trail. But I don't know. What black trail? There's, there's like a black trail, but we take out garbage to take out to the burning pit mm-hmm. to burn. Well, not garbage, but cardboard box and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's why I wasn't too worried about it until I went, ran down the trail and looked down, down that way, and I saw something bluish. And that's why I seen Alana, and I went up to see if she was all right. She didn't. She wasn't moving or nothing. She had all her red face. So, then you, you, this is after you saw that you, you were in the house, you went out, you saw the drag mark, and you, then you went to see Alana, and then what did you do? Well, Amanda was there at the time when I went outside again. Well, what? Yeah. Maybe you might have been get, getting ahead of me. I'm not sure, because I think, you uh, you're in the house. Yeah, I'm looking you around. You take your shoes off. You go in the house. Say, I'm here. Yeah. You look around. Yeah, I noticed that the chairs tipped over and a bunch of reds on the on the. What you thought was. Shade. You said you thought was Kool-Aid? Yes, sir. Okay. And I said hello a couple more times and no one answered. And I was looked out the door and there's a bunch of blood on the porch. Well, red on the porch. Mm-hmm. But I know it's blood now because there is someone dead or wounded. Okay. All right. So then what did you do? I walked out around the house, and I didn't notice anything strange that way. So I decided to walk down their creek bank. When you left the house, which way did you go? Down. The back door. I went out the back door and was looking around, seeing if I could see Alana. And I was up there barefooted, well, in my socks. Mm-hmm. I was looking around, and Amanda was already pulled up and was coming up already in. And I was looking around, mm-hmm. and... I went back around the front, got my shoes on, and I said, I, want, I don't know where Lana is. Is Lana with you? And she wasn't with her, and that, got, that something pointed up. And we went out there and was looking for her. Well, Amanda got in the truck and was, and was feeding forward to that back trail where I was showing you what leads up through here, because she mm-hmm. said she didn't care about what my uncle said. Okay. She was looking for her sister. Okay. And, and where were I, you at? I was, you know, where, well, this back trail, this is where Alana's laying. Mm-hmm. Well, I ran this way from that back porch and was going down that way again. But when I turned around and walked out in front of that burn pile, I was looking down that trail, and that's when I saw Alana. And uh, I got an upset stomach, and I was feeling woozy. And uh, the man is saying, where's she at? Where's she at? I said, down that trail, and she said, which trail did one behind me, that one or that one? I said, that one over there, and she said, and she ran over there and called 911 and just started screaming and crying. Okay, so when Amanda came in, where did Amanda come in? To the front door. And where were you? I was down here, lowish down here in that trail. Okay, how did you get out of the house? Through that back door. That okay. was when you when you when you went out of the back house, back of the house, and uh, you were at the back. You you were in the house. Where did you go? You went out of the back of the house, and where did you go from there? I uh, went over there to the computers and was no 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 no. You came out. Yeah. You come out oh. the back door. What did you do when you came out the back? I door? was just looking around, seeing if I seen anything okay. strange, mm-hmm. and I just went on down to that creek bank area. And I stopped and I just turned around right down here. I wasn't going to go to the park down there anymore because I already been down there. 
So I just bent up and went up to their house and went to the front door. And a man was already in there was yelling for Lana and Chase. Okay. And I said, is Lana with y'all? Okay. So then what did you do? And I put on my shoes and I went out with help from Amanda look for her. Who went out first? Oh, Amanda okay. and Chase. Amanda and Chase went out first. You put your shoes on. You went out where? I went back out the front door and I was looking out through here because she first went up to the top of the road. That main road again. Mm -hmm. Looking out around, going slowly, just getting out to the side of the roads. Okay. And she turned around, was coming through here. And that's when I turned around. I went past that burning pile. I saw her. Okay. Where did you said you got? You got sick. You throw up. I couldn't throw up because I didn't eat anything that today. You said just a couple few minutes ago on that main drink. So when when Amanda she she pulled it back here to this trail, right? Yes, sir. No, she went to her backyard. Right. To that to my trail. Back here. Yes, sir. Okay. Where were you at when she? I was standing halfway in front of that trail, right around. So you were on the driver's well, side. Well, you know where that burning pile is? That big old burning pile. I know where her truck was. Yeah, was and parked. right behind it is a big old pile of dicks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so her, I was standing right there beside it, and I saw something blue, and that's when I saw her. And Amanda was already back here? She was already starting to pull in, going that way, and she saw me turn around. She's like, what's the matter? I told her why. And she's saying, where was she at? And I was telling her, she thought I was talking about this girl, but I was staying in that chill. And then she ran over and started screaming and crying. Let me ask you this. Is this about really the only thing that's kind of, I'm not really sure about. When you looked out the back door, and you saw what you said by then, and you knew was blood. And you saw the drag marks uh, around. We, we take, we drag the garbage out. Okay. So but you said you already saw the blood. You had, by this time, you had already seen the guy in the dark clothing twice. Um, saw him at least once at the back door or whatever. And you walk in, and you see this blood, and you see this drag mark leading to that trail over here. Why didn't you follow it? Because I thought it was because a couple of days ago, me, Chase, and little Paul, because they got another little brother that's got after school that comes at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Well, we was taking out garbage the other day, going out around that tree, because if we kept on going straight, there's like a metal chain out there that we can't hardly notice. But if we drag it over, it's going to rip open the bag, and it's going to spill out all that garbage everywhere. Okay. So he's telling us to go that way, and that's why I, I thought uh, I was, I'm used to that black mark. Not until. I mean, I can understand a black mark as far as just a regular black mark that you've seen there all the time. But black mark, and the first part of the black mark is up on the porch, and what's up on the porch? There's red blood. Okay. I kind of don't understand why, if you'd already been all around that area of the it's creek. Like down here. Well, you said you've been all over there. Only down, okay. Going down through here in that back trail. Okay, but you, you, you're in the backyard you, when you come out the back door, huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. And you turn immediately and go back down the way that you just had already checked. I mean, you came from your house all the way down that trail, all along, searching the fields, looking mm -hmm. around, come all the way back up the front of the house and go all the you way down, halfway field. down the driveway, look at that field, you know, look through that field to see the guy on the back porch, apparently. Come back around, go in the house, come through the house, see the blood, see the drag trail, leading right back around to the only area where you have not been. And what do you do when you come out of the back door again? You go immediately back down to the other area, which you've already checked, which you said that you already knew he wasn't down there. No, down here. I knew he wasn't down there. I did not check this one trail right to there. Yeah, but I mean... 
Is there anything that would lead you to believe that he would hung around in that one trail? I mean, you've been all over that area all through there. I don't and, know. All I do is check real fast if he's still lingering around as he would. I mean, he told me earlier that you saw him. He ran down this way. Yeah. Yeah, when I first seen him. Yeah. yeah. Well, the second time I seen him on the back porch. He jumped off the back porch and was running down, down through that way. way. Yeah. Down, down to the creek. Down here. But you come out the back back door to check and see if anything's missing or mm-hmm. out of place. You find the drag marks that are out of place, right? Well, I'm used to those black drag marks because that's what I was telling y'all about. I was taking out okay, so bags of You saw garbage. him go down this way, and you're looking around so you can, why do you come over here? Because I thought he would still be leaning around. Or, I want to say less something, but he didn't. What do you mean? Like he's trying to lean around, trying to come back and get some. That's why I double, well, I didn't double check it because I've never been on that one trail. So I just went down there and looked real fast and I came back down on this road. And I didn't worry about that part. So I just went back up to the house and man, was already in the house. Because she pulled up, pulled up with Chase and they went inside and I went inside and got my shoes. And they asked if they seen a Lana, and I said, no, have y'all? And that's when that thing went out. Okay. Did you bother to tell Amanda at the time that she said, hey, have you seen a Lana? Did you bother to tell her about the blood on the back porch? Or the yeah, blood? she's seen it. She's seen everything. She's seen everything. She's the second person who went over there and looked at the computer area. Did you say tell her about the blackish white guy that was on the back porch? I told her everything. That's when she got in the truck and was going around. Well, you told her he was on the back porch? Mm-hmm. I told her everything. The only thing I can tell you is, I can understand, I can understand most everything you're telling me. And you have to kind of go with me here on this. Do you, 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 you know anything about how kind of this thing works as far as, you know, crime scene investigations and all that kind of stuff? You know how any of that works? I mean, you ever seen anything like CSI or, or anything like that? Well, I have, but I'm not really paying attention to it. Don't really pay attention to it. I mean, I don't know if you like it or not, but that's, you know, kind of, you know, kind of part of this falls into that CSI kind of thing. No, we don't do it all in one hour and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it takes a little bit longer, but. One of the things that, that, that we did is we had dogs come out. I don't know if you saw them or not. And I saw one. You saw one. There was at least two we had out there. And do you have any idea what those dogs do? No, I really. All I know from one time from Jersey City, last Thursday, we had like a little event for the military to show off the dogs. And mm-hmm. Tricks, they smell out like weapons. Stuff like that, drugs, mm-hmm. bombs, stuff like that. Yeah. And also ours. And guard dogs. People. What we call tracking dogs. Tracking dogs. And we had not one but two dogs go all over that area from the back of the house all the way back down that trail as far as they could go and back down toward the creek and all over that area. And you know one thing they didn't find? Yeah. They didn't find a trail. The dogs kept kind of looping back around back to the house. And I'm trying to wonder if there was another person down there besides you that was leaving a trail down there that was doing all that running around that you said you saw him doing. Why wouldn't we have a trail back there? For that? I don't know. You don't know? No, yes, sir. We can't take an explanation. No, sir. Well, and even under the standpoint of they went over there in that area. Where Alana was, 
and work that area too. I would figure any area would be pretty hot and heavy on, on that, and they could pick something off of that. And weren't able to do that either. So I'm just wondering if maybe you could kind of fill in some blanks for me there on, on, on. I mean, these dogs are trained. I mean, they're trained. None of them trained. They're trained to do their job. Yeah. And that's one thing that I do know about the dogs. The dogs don't have to worry about back talking us, or the dogs don't have to worry about second guess. And once you put them down there, they just run and smell. But the whole dog's do. Mm-hmm. Pretty much other than eating or pooping, right? Yeah. But if I've got a dog down there and I've got not one, we think, well, may- maybe that dog's not having a good day. Because I don't like people that don't have a good days sometimes. Not always. Not a whole lot. But sometimes they're, you know. So we put two. Just to be on the safe side, did the same thing. You say nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, we're not trying to. I'm not trying to say anything one way or the other. I'm just we're trying to get a big picture because yeah, and you're trying to say, get it. It kind of don't throw out a good picture because dogs can't get no sun. Well, it would be different if it was so home. You know, maybe because we've had that before. Well, maybe. I mean, I got all the way down as far as here, but that's about it. I'm talking about zilch, none, zero. I'm talking about running around down there. All throughout that area where you said you saw this person run it and nothing. I mean, the dog did even act like it was even, just, just yeah, because, either one of them. Because right where that fence is, I follow the spawn footprints. That's why that, well, and that's where I was going with it, too, because they went down there and the handlers, and the handlers have somebody with them called a spotter. Yes, sir. What do you think the spotter's job is? You can see if he sees anything able to take care of the handler and make sure that the handler's concentrating on the dog. If the dog does anything that says, hmm, we've got something here, the handler's going to see that. The spotter looks around the if handler. He sees anything. So if he sees anything or anybody or anything of any kind of, you know, significance, he'll know where it is and he can mark it. So in case they have to come back. Nothing. Hot footprints, not nothing. And you know how muddy it was. I mean, you can see all this mud right here. Mm-hmm. He's got it all over his pants, and he got a little bit of there too. And but I was walking around and stuff, and I was trying to be careful, and I was stomping all through it. And I mean, there was all kind of footprints and stuff down there. But get off down in that muddy area down there around that creek. And there's no section there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there was nothing. So unless this person evaporated, you're not going to be system. So what does that lead us? What where does that lead us back to? It almost leads back to me, or maybe it needs to. Is there, is there any chance that maybe there wasn't that second guy, that other guy? There was another guy. Well, I mean, but how, you just said yourself. I mean, people don't just know, evaporate into thin air. I know what you're saying, but I, I know I wouldn't hurt him long. Didn't think you would. Because that treat her no, like I, my I, sister. And, and, and that's where I was going to go with it. I mean, from what I understand, you're very good with her. We've been good friends ever since they, she moved there. Yep. I mean, did, 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 you, did y'all date it ever? At the first, but it kind of went out. And so then we just became friends because she says, if it don't work out, just, let's just be real uh, friends. But well, led to that, and we led to be real good friends. Okay. Real good friends. And and, and and from what I gather from everybody that I've talked to, that we've talked to, that's what they said. I don't think, by any stretch of the imagination, that what happened was something that was malicious. I mean, that's another thing that we can kind of tell. When we, when we see these things, and we were trying to put two and two together here, we wanted to add up to four. You know, and it's just a matter of getting a few pieces of the puzzle together to kind of get there. And one of those huge pieces of the puzzle that didn't fit was that fact about the guy. But the other one is, you know, we can kind of tell that this is not something that we think it was just a malicious deal. I mean, truth be known, it could have been an accident. Yes, sir. I mean, things could have happened. 
And it might have been one of them, you know, one of them unfortunate deals. I mean, I don't know, there was a movie out at one time called Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. I've not seen that. I hadn't either. I just heard the title and it kind of fits. You know, kind of in a series of unfortunate events. It doesn't necessarily mean somebody went out here and planned to do this, like some cold-hearted, callous person did. But maybe, just maybe, things happen in such a way that it was an accident. It didn't mean for it to happen. And you know, they happen, and we try to get past them. And, you know, the person that, you know, did these things is extremely, extremely sorry for it. And wants things to be different more than anything in this world wants things to be different. The only thing that I could tell a person in that situation would be what we know we can work with, what we don't know, we'll have to add our own thing to the equation and come out with four. And sometimes, you know, that doesn't always look good. Yes, sir. So the only thing I'm telling you is if you'll help me, I'll try to do everything I can to make sure that we keep this straight and that we give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But certain things I don't think are adding up. And I don't want to wind up going out of here and giving anybody the wrong impression about mm -hmm. things. Is there anything that you need to that you need to change about what happened? Not not no, I know that it's changeable because I know I didn't put nothing in there that I did. I can't do stuff like that. You can't do stuff like what? Try to hurt her. She's actually a nice person. I almost know. Sure. Well, I mean, I get that, and, and, and but that's what I'm saying. But if there is stuff there that says you were there, how are we going to get around that? Because there again, I mean, CSI, the way it works is we find things. Sometimes we don't find anything. Other times we find stuff. And when we find stuff, you know, it's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. That'd be an explanation. You gotta be. And there ain't but one explanation. Well, there's two explanations. There's what I can make of it, or there's what I'm told. And I'm trying to give everybody the benefit of the doubt without trying to put words in their mouth or without trying to make anything of it. I don't think that something else happened, but well, it didn't happen. I, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. What do you, what, what, what do you think happened? I don't know what really happened. All I saw was, when I say I opened the door, I said, hello, I'm here. Before, well, because. What do you think happened to her? So long. When I first seen her on the ground, like the way how she was, I first thought she was raped or something bad happened. And you could tell this how. You said when you first saw her, you could tell that. How? I don't know how. I just where some no one would just come up and just hurt her. He's actually her. she don't let anybody try to touch her inappropriately. Okay. It's one thing she don't do. And do you think somebody might have been there and maybe tried to tried to go a little further than what she know. was comfortable with? I don't know. Because quite honestly, that that's maybe what I was kind of thinking. That, you know, maybe somebody was there and maybe they were talking and cutting up and, you know, one thing led to another and, you know, things went up a little bit out of hand. But there again... That's just kind of what I'm thinking. Could that be a possibility? I don't know. That's all, all I saw was that what I told you was that black person. Well, not black person because all well, black. We've already pretty much established what in there. Yeah, that's what y'all are saying. Well, I mean, that's what the evidence is showing us. Well, dogs and everything like that. 
dogs, lack of footprints, lack of anything else that tells me. Because, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I could walk up there and I could see Nikes mm -hmm. on the ground. And well, I could see blood soles. If you go through, the, through my gate, you see boot prints. You can see way how they run because at the front of the tip, We had officers do that. All the way to the cable. Because mm -hmm. when I came through there this morning, the first thing went after is the footprints. This morning? No. When I, when I was coming back from the Rhinoc Curve, coming from oh, the top of the road. You said this morning. The first thing you did this morning when you went down through oh, the Oh, my bad if I said no. Because this morning I went to school. Because the first thing I did was, what, was looking for footprints. But Aaron, let me, let me ask you this. What point would it be for me to sit here and try to trick you? There isn't. There isn't. Why? That ain't a job. Then, then you look at me and you listen to what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not trying to trick you. I am absolutely not trying to make you out to be an idiot. Nothing. I'm talking okay. serious business here. And when I tell you, there is nothing we've got right now to show that there was a man there, period. Nothing. Nothing. I'm trying. You saw those cars that were out there, right? There was more cars that you didn't see that were all the way up the road, both sides, all the way around. They had that area cordoned off because when they hear somebody ran, the first thing they want to do is set up a perimeter. There were perimeter cars set up. Mm -hmm. Nobody saw anything. There's no, actually no footprints. And as muddy as it was, there's nothing that's going to do. And on top of that, how would somebody know to come down there with just this blazing streak of blood to get down there and to get in and get out and get gone in 10 minutes? Because I haven't even really gone there yet. That's another thing that really just don't add up. Really. It just don't. I mean, I can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But one thing I can't do is zip down a trail and do all that zip you do down in heat supposedly did, in 10 minutes. And, and, you supposedly running all the way there too. I was looking everywhere for him. But you never crisscrossed, did you? I've never seen him. you never seen him again after you said you saw him jump the fence and then you saw him up there at the, at the, at the back door. You never saw him again, right? Not again. He had 10 minutes. He, I mean, I, believe me, I only know of one person that I know of that can make the illusion of that, and that's Chris Angel, the magician. But then again, I think that's all cameras and mirrors anyway. I don't really believe that he disappears. I don't even watch that. Well, and it's probably not worth your time anyway, because it's all a bunch of garbage, magic, junk. It don't matter to nothing. I'm talking about real world here. I'm talking about real world people here. You and I, flesh and blood, flesh and bone, that leave stuff behind us that tell us, you know, we were here. And I go... And we look all over that area with one and then another dog, and they don't find anything. And then I can't, for the life of me, figure out how he would have flown in there and flown out in 10 minutes, much less anything else. Nothing. Let me go back to this real quick. When you saw him, you, you know, you came down through the path, was looking for him, you came back up to the house, and you came out, and a man was already going down, down the road, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So then you go to the door and go inside. Yes, sir. Now, how? I mean, you know, Amanda's just just leaving the house. She hadn't been gone thirty seconds, looks like, because she's right there, still out front, right? No, she's heading down and halfway down the road. A minute, two. I mean, it can take long to get there down that drive right around. Yes, sir. So she just left the house a minute or two, and that time you're there. So, I mean, we don't even have a 10 minute time for this to happen. Well, that's true, too. We're, yeah. We're talking a minute, two minutes. Yeah, at the most. If she leaves, there's nobody there. I mean, a lot of, a lot of there. If she leaves, gets in the car, pulls down the road, you're showing up. So, how's this guy? Already in the hunt. I just, I, 
I mean, it's physically impossible. Yes, yes sir. I mean, you see what I'm saying? She just left. And when she left, the guy wasn't there. And she knows this. She knows you were there. And you went directly in the house. And you didn't see him. Well, you didn't see a lot of Nope. I mean, there was no... There was no 10 minutes. Anybody to be there? There was no time for anybody to be there. It's kind of sound like y'all trying to say that I did something that I know I didn't do. We're trying to fill in. No, we're trying to fill in. You know what y'all saying, but it's kind of saying that, like, it makes it sound like it's come directly back to me. Like I did something wrong. trying to get out here is we're trying to find out everything that happened out here. Which I'm trying to tell you, bro. But if there's just, I mean, I know you're trying to tell us about this blackish white guy out there. If he, if he doesn't exist, I don't want to have everybody out here looking for this, you know, non-existent person when they could be I doing something be else. sitting here right now and be telling you all that about this person. I wouldn't be sitting here. I would have already confessed that a long time ago that I did something, which I won't do because I don't do that. I don't. You called from the GSR. Yeah. Him? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Sorry, yeah, Can you get both orders? Huh? Get both orders. Yeah. I'll yeah. be out of here. I'll be right around the corner. All right. Unless you need one of us in here. You no, I'm good. Part. I'm good. Like this. Gunshot residue kit. Well, it's going to get it all over. Huh? It's going to get it me all over. Why is that? Because just two days ago, man, yesterday, me and my cousin were target practicing. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Well, what's your cousin's name? Tommy. Tommy what? Didn't what kind of gun would y'all shoot? 22s. 22. What, rifle or pistol or what? Rifle. Rifle? You like guns? Not really. I know they do bad, but... Yeah. Hot and well. It might just be the person that got the gun that does bad, maybe. How'd you get that on your finger? I clipped my finger on a, a fence. Oh, really? Today. I was getting a... I was getting my dog, his dog collar, because mm -hmm. he snapped the other one. Right. So, I went and got, so I went and got him a new one. It's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Well, look here. I'm not worried about you having gunshot powder residue on your hand. Mm -hmm. It's when the powder that matches up that's on that girl's face. Mm-hmm. Who comes back the same powder that's on that? Yes, sir. That's when we got a problem because all powder you can say it's not the same. They're all different. No, I'm talking about whatever powder is on the same things. If this powder right here that I just took off your hands, if it comes back as the same powder that's on that girl in there, then there's a problem. So it don't matter if you tell me you shot a gun yesterday. I ain't worried about that. I'm trying to match what's on your hand. And I'll know that in about 30 minutes. Put your other hand in here. You ever watch CSI? Yes, sir. Yeah. I wish it was that easy. I wish I could solve something within an hour. Even with the commercials. So here's what I would do if I were you. I might tell you. Can I finish? Mm hmm I would, because I got more than a 22 bullet residue on my hands. What other kind of residue you got on your hands? I got, because uh, we, right after we shot that, we went and got dude named David uh -huh. down the road from my house. Mm -hmm. David and Tyler Hyman because Tyler's uh -huh. over his house. Uh -huh. 
So they decided to bring a couple of his their guns with them. Right. Well, if I need to go and find the guns that you know you shot and the residue is going to be in your hand, where are them guns at? Going to be in my closet and in my uncle's closet in front of his door. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Oh, um, I need you to do the same process. All right. Let me see. What do you want? You'll we'll never get home tonight. Well, here, dude, all I do is show up and take the, take the samples. Yes, sir. But I'm telling you, science don't lie. I know. If what I've got right here is on that girl, and you've been sitting here and I'm telling these guys the truth, and I have to go through all the trouble to find out about it, it's going to look a whole lot worse. So, you know, if something's happened, it's happened, okay? Yes, sir. All right, what sink do you want me to bring? That man in the bathroom right there. Can you go over there? Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. All right. Hey. Give me that pole. Oh, Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Better request get the shoes off. Listen. Oh. You know there wasn't another guy there though. There was. A long time, but I don't know. You can do it a long time. This whole thing is what we could talk about. Right. Like I said, the way we talk to you, you know, you know, break out. You know, they, you know, they brought you in the family, the troops, that family. But if I've seen it happen, I've seen it happen, they can, you know, that's something like this. But, you, you saw him all over shit out of there. You saw him have to chew up. Yeah. First thing she deserves to you know. Yeah. 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 Okay. I was actually trying to stop it. Okay. Well, I did see the person jump it, the fence and everything. I, I kind of did do that, but I went straight to the house. But when I went in, and, and a gun was shot. And when that happened, he pointed the gun at me, and I got scared. He started lying at y'all. Like I was saying, this college kid, I don't know who is true, I don't know his name though. I know what's the truth, you know, I'm trying to give the truth, but, I'm, but every time I try to say it right now, it comes right back down to me. We know. We know. I was not the only person there, I swear to God, if I had a video camera, I would have put it on. Let me, let me see something. Let me see the dog. Let me see. Look, no, lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Okay. Here, here, here's, here's yet another piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. On top of my foot. On top of your feet. How is it you get blood on top of your feet walking around on it in the floor? I'm trying to tell y'all, but I just have tell y'all that part, that one oh, part. okay. Okay. Because it aimed the gun at me. I didn't know if it was going to Where did the gun come from? Huh? Where did the gun come from? I don't know, sir. He, he was going to aim it at me. Aim it at me. Let me ask you this. The, the dirty word. What kind of gun does it look like? It looked like a 9mm. Okay. To be honest. 
Because we guess what looks. we found as far as around that target practice area out there. Mm. Guess what we found? What? Nine millimeter casings. What? Right. Around that target area that you said you and then what target practice? Remember, you heard you say it. The target yeah, practice. but I don't. I never knew about a nine millimeter. I only about, knew about a 308. We found some casings around there, so obviously we know there's a nine millimeter up there somewhere. What's going to happen if they find that gun? And it's got your fingerprints on it, and on top of that, it's got gunshot residue on your hand. How are we going to explain that? I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. You. I'm sorry, but I did not shoot her. Did you see it happen? Yes, sir. How did I had to ditch the weapon. You had to ditch the weapon? Sir. So what did you ditch the weapon at? It's over there near the dirt, the bushes near the truck. But I, I had to help him move the dirt on I didn't want to. I treated him like that. Mm -hmm. He kept the aim of the gun at me, though, and I telling me to do it. Saying I have a time if I do stitch on him, he was going to get me. I'm scared. But he had the gun on you. <laughs> then he threw the gun down and ran. You had to ditch it and then you ran out and you tried to look for him and you he was gone at that point. What, yes. why, why would you why would you tell Amanda? <laughs> because she was trying to say I'm being mad <laughs> and try to hurt Alana. <laughs> how would how would that be? I don't know, sir. <laughs> uh, I know. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The only way we're going to do anything as far as trying to explain to Alana's mom what really happened is for you to just go ahead and let us know what happened. That way, I'm telling you right now. You, God, you, you, you're telling us. You're telling us some. <laughs> Listen to me. It's not all. It's not all. I did not pull the trigger. But like I, I said, walk if, down if, when it's going to happen. So if we find the gun and we find the fingerprints on the trigger and we find all that stuff, it's yours. I mean, I, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I know because you... I took off my shoes and I went there and put that there and then moved the mm -hmm. But the bullet's on the top of your feet. So, I, mean, I, can I know because I had to lift up the body. Why didn't he do it? <laughs> he said he didn't want to get any blood on him. <laughs> I don't know if it's kind of shoot, I don't know him. <laughs> it was some kind of short, fattish, brownish person. <laughs> he ain't too just, short. You just said before it was a tall black. I know, but I had to say that so he don't get on me. <laughs> I know who he head. is, though. <laughs> I know who he is, but I don't know his name. Where does he live? <laughs> He's a guy who likes shooting all his weapons <laughs> down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm lying about it. And I don't, I, Aaron, I don't think you're lying. I think you're scared to death. Mm -hmm. And I think you're trying to figure out a way to make some sense out of what happened. But there ain't but one of two ways I can look at it. <laughs> and you go with me on this. I don't, I, we all know, sitting in this room, there was no second man. <laughs> there I, was. I, I, listen, listen to me. Listen I'm not me. lying about the guy, listen though. Listen to me. Listen to me. I did not stand there and make and help this lie listen about this dude standing there with it. <laughs> listen, listen to me. Let, Aaron, are you going to listen to me? <laughs> yes. listen to me? I can tell you with every bit of uncertainty of us sitting here, just like he can. There was no other man. So this boils down to one of two things. I mean, he's right down to me. Is it, no, listen to me. It is either somebody that went over there with the intention of hurting Alana, and this was a premeditated, cold-blooded deal, or the only other thing it could be was things got a little out of hand, and it was a complete and total accident. And that person that did it is scared to dang death right now, trying to figure out how to make it right. It's no, one of those two. I couldn't hurt her not when I not, 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 not purposely. Not purposely. No, I no. never will hold a firearm without an adult. That's the main rule. 
I'm, I'm not supposed but to. You know one thing that I know that most people who do stuff like this don't do? Don't leave them. I mean, I've got 20 years in just about. He's got right behind me about 16. We've been doing this a long time. And I one know. thing that I do know about people is they don't do the dirty work and then hold somebody else hostage for the most part and make them do all the cleanup and all this other kind of stuff and then turn you loose knowing you know them. There would be two people out there laying. In no, field. there wouldn't. Because yes. I was gone when he, I sat Alana down. <laughs> he would have never let you do that. Because if I, you'd have walked in and you saw what you saw, you would have been laying right there next to her. Aaron, without a doubt, without a doubt, that's much I know. If he's already done it once, he's not going to have witnesses. And I'm going to explain to you, there wasn't enough time for anybody else. To there was. I was telling the guy on his truth about this, though. I don't think you are. Yes, I am. I'm telling you everything I know right now. I'm yeah. laying my cards on the table like the guy said at the police officer. I've had them lay their cards down. I've had them swear on a stack of Bibles high as my mama's head, swear on my mama's grave. <laughs> I'm not scared. The only thing I'm scared of is he coming back for me now. <laughs> if he would we, have a we, search We are not going to let that happen. <laughs> I'm not one thing that I think you need to be that. one thing I think you need to be concerned about though is the people that I think you're forgetting about this is I know their parents. Mm-hmm. I know. Her parents are scared of what? <laughs> I don't know. Her parents are scared of this guy here running around in the woods, this maniac running around in the woods. If you know there's not a maniac, I've got to let them know that because in addition to what already happened, I've got to be able to tell them, look, you're safe. I've got an obligation to keep her safe and him safe, just like I do you, right? Those little boys. And those little boys. you got to level with me, but you're not leveling with me. And I don't know how that's going to look. Go ahead and get it off your chest, one way or the other. Let's deal with it. I'm it's trying to get it off, but y'all saying that I'm lying. I'm not saying that. Have I, have I called you a liar? No way. How y'all saying Because my I sister does you, this to me. Have I called you a liar? No, sir. I won't. All I'm saying is, I've got a family over here that's upset, and they are scared to death. Yes, sir. And you're telling them that there is some maniac out there running around in their woods Randomly just going out there killing people for no reason. How are they ever going to sleep at night again? I'm telling y'all there was another dude. I'm not saying I, I was not there alone. I know I watched it. Funny to go get Tommy. Tommy will know nothing about it. Will you tell me where he lives on Miles Road, and I will go find this guy right now, and I'll lock him up right now. I can tell you where he lives. Where does he live? He lives, you know, where uh, Elephant Drive is? Mm-hmm. But down that, well, first you go down there, and you turn to the right. It leads you to the little house that leads to a little red jeep. He's got a buttload of dogs. A buttload of what? Dogs. And he goes out there just randomly shooting Anything with automatic weapons. Okay. I caught him on my property for no reason one time. And he aimed an uh, automatic gun at me once. Okay, so when I go down there and we pick this guy up, and we are ultimately not able to tie him to this scene, what's going to happen then? It doesn't matter if you can't. It all will lead right back oh, down Oh, but it me. does matter if we can, though, Aaron. Because he's going to say about, you are you going to talk about laying cards down? We're laying cards down now. I, this is how it I'm goes. Laying all my, you laid all of yours down, and I'm going to lay all mine down. I'm laying all mine down okay. right then now. I'm going to lay all them down, and I'm going to tell you right quick, the trump card that we've got is your story does not make sense. That's what exactly what y'all are saying. That's exactly I'm trying what, to tell you what... It, <laughs> no, what you're doing is every time that I ask you something or every time I point something out, you try to make it fit. It's not going to. It's not going to. Nothing that you say except what happened is going to fit. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. Plain and simple. 
You can sit there and talk about dwarves dancing under the rainbow. It ain't going to change the fact that it's not going to fit, period. The crime scene does not lie, period. It does not lie. It's only for you to understand. I want to be able to tell another something. Something that might, might possibly be able to it's not going to compliment her. She's going to hate it. Oh my God. I didn't want to do anything to harm her. I didn't want nothing to harm her. I believe that. Yeah, we do. You I can look at this whole situation and tell that. Why don't you tell us what happened? I'm telling y'all, but y'all are saying that makes a big bogey, almost a mystery myth right there. So because if of, you know in your heart of hearts, if you know that what I'm saying is the truth, why would you keep hanging on to it? Why are you going to keep hanging your hand on something that you know? You can lay all them cards down there. No, and Ultimately, I'm going to lay my hand down and I'm going to win the hand. Think about it, Aaron. Think about it. Think about it long and hard. Everything that you've set up at this point, and we told you at every step of the way which way it doesn't make sense, and you know it doesn't make sense, but you're going to keep hanging your hat on it. We're already at a point now where we're almost there. The last breakthrough is you. And that could be the ticket. Investigator Evans is talking about, about being able to tell her mother. Period. We're asking you to help. Talking to her mother, I don't think she'll hate you. Mm -hmm. So she will. She Anything like that. Here. Yeah. She does. If you don't think about mama, think about a lot. Okay. There's this boy named David Manning, so I. Mm -hmm. He's kind of psycho, you know, a little bit like that. He told me a couple of days, a week, or a couple kept on, kept on telling me that Lana likes making fun of him, making gestures, and he kept on making fun of him and everything. And, and he wanted to kind of get back to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kept on, because he kept on humiliating me from this girl that he kept on trying to hit on. Mm -hmm. He wanted to scare her a bit. <laughs> and he wanted to go go in there and go scare her. I didn't know he was going to do anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say because I don't know if going to leave that. It's going to be on me. <laughs> So you're, are you trying to say Dave Mathis is the one that shot her? <laughs> he came all dressed up and came a bunch. <laughs> I mean, we were getting all in inside. Uh, he said, let's just go and roll up and scare her. And we he kept on banging on the side of the house. Well, he was, and I would, would go up and say, Alana, are you home? David wants to say something. And he didn't say it. Well, she didn't want to go out. He went in there and was talking to her. <laughs> and he kept on doing this, that, and the other, and them two would yell at each other for a couple of seconds, and he did something stupid. 
they will fight and argue with each other. And then what happened? He pulled out the elevator. <laughs> but he didn't pull it out. He was, it was sitting over there on the parents' chest because he ran up was running around in her house. He went and cut it. What? what? He cut it once because he got scared. He shot him on it. He actually shot him. <laughs> what, when, what, when did this happen? I didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs> Are you talking about at the same time that we're talking about, that this has been going on. We talk about you came up with him as Amanda was driving off and y'all were beating on the trailer and doing all this stuff. No, he was halfway up already ahead of me. But I already knew who it was. All right. I didn't know he was going to do something. He tore it crazy. Where did he go? He went straight to her house. Where did he go after? He went back down to his house. Where's his house? A couple of, uh, right down the road from mine. So the how, house. how did he leave her house to get to his house? He ran down the down the way and we came up. Which is up the trail? <laughs> yes, sir. But we pretty much told you the dogs ran that trail. Not that off. trail. This one trail right no. This one right here. He took this side way to the wood bath. He took that and took Bob Oliver's and went right back to his house. Where'd you get it from? He can't he got it off of Mr. Paul's dresser. <laughs> got a bus piece of safety or something or whatever. I didn't really know about the gun until he pulled it out off the dresser. I was no one over there to scare her. He was. I was going to go over there and tell her, and tell her mom, fell <laughs> down. I wouldn't be able to go over there for two weeks. And he was just there to just be a little part around. That... That's well, and, and I'll be honest with you, that still does not add up. But that even makes you look twice as bad. I know. Because you could have worn mom off or sister off, and you didn't. I don't think that's what happened. I don't, I just, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else to, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. I, I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand something here. I know my hand's going to be on that gun because I have. The bottom line is. You're all over this whole thing, period. Not just the gun, the yard, the house, the the road, everything. You're over everything. You, Aaron, are over everything. Nobody else is over everything. You're forgetting there were other people in that yard, too, with you. The dogs kept tracking back to the same spot, which is in the backyard, Kept running around over here, running around trying to find other stuff, and they couldn't find other stuff, and they ran back in front of the yard. Why? Because nobody left that backyard, Aaron. Nobody left that backyard. If anybody left that backyard, those dogs would have made a beeline off of it and ran through the woods over there because they ran that way. They looked that way. But they kept coming back. Why? Because the person didn't leave. There was no time. It does not add up. Your prints are the only ones on the gun. Right. Yeah, because he... You're the one that, that, that dragged her outside. Yeah. And dragged her over there. And my, my head, you, you said, oh, you just thought it was a garbage trail. Do you really want me to go tell her mother that that was a garbage trail that was drug over there? No, sir. Okay, then. You see what I, I can say? Somebody her. drug this yeah. around here like a bag of garbage? Her daughter was drug around here like a bag of garbage? If it was an accident, it was an accident, but you got to tell Dude, me. Dude, you got to tell us. If it was an accident, let's sit here and if quit talking what it is. If it was a game, game, something. Whatever what happened. <laughs> the stop on that some other dude did it. Man, everybody tries to say that. And everybody that said it, it don't wash. I told you, it's not going to add up. You can say it. You can try to believe it. But you know it doesn't add up. 
If it was an accident, say it was an accident. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm not trying to trick you. <laughs> no, but it's going to end up as I. You don't even know what's going to happen any more than I do. I don't want to hurt her, her feelings. You don't oh, want to hurt I, whose feelings? Her feelings. A lot of mom. Her feelings are already hurt, Aaron. How much more hurt could they well, be? I didn't mean to hurt her. All right, then. What happened? <laughs> she was goofing around. And I was goofing around. But first, I went over there to tell her that I couldn't be over here for two weeks, like I was saying. <laughs> and I, and I, I know Amanda kind of a little bit forgets stuff when mm -hmm. she's doing a lot of busy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told her, and she said she wanted to go outside and, and let's go and do some. Well, I didn't know the gun was loaded. Okay. And what happened? <laughs> and she was acting like she was pulling the trigger. <laughs> And I said, don't do that. Okay. And I took it away. And I went to go and try to go put it up so I can go leave. And it went off. <laughs> Where was she at when it went off? Over there where the computer was. Hmm? Over at the computer. How close to you when you when it went off? I had it right there in my hands, grabbing it and taking it away. <laughs> so you were right behind her when it went off? <laughs> right in front of her. Right in front of her? <laughs> she gets shot in the face or in the back of the head? She got shot in the neck. <laughs> All I know is she got shot and fell over back in the chair and fell over. <laughs> I didn't know if she was driving the back of the head or not. All I know is they come at all. And she went flopping down. And she was in front of you, and I hit the back of her head was facing me, right? <laughs> no. Hmm? Well, so you're making it sound like I try to shoot her in the back of the head. I'm not, We're not trying to make it say that's what the evidence shows, buddy. I know. So if you know that, then why are you saying we're making it up or not? That's no, what but I didn't even had her head at all. All I did is grab it, and it went off. Where were you at when you grabbed it? Right in front of her. Yes. When I grabbed it, the gun tilted it up, and I went and when it tilted off, it went off. Mm. <laughs> it got her, it got all of it. <laughs> Let me sit tight just a second, okay? You want something to drink or? No. <laughs> I want to go to the bathroom. Okay, go to the bathroom? Oh. I'll walk you right into the bathroom. Let you suck. All right. Here. What you doing, bud? I'm good. Aaron, what's your middle name? 
Aaron is my middle name. My real name is Lacey. Lacey? Yes, sir. Lacey what? Yes, sir. You're 14? Yes, sir. <laughs> You in the ninth grade now? Yes. <laughs> what did you complete the eighth grade at? Stalling the in the middle school. Aaron? Yes. I need to read something to you. I need you to understand this, okay? Is you Miranda rights? Okay. You ever been read your rights before? Yeah. Okay. I need you to pay attention to it. If you don't understand something, let me know. It's going to be County Sheriff's Office, Juvenile Miranda Rights, or Rights Under Miranda. Well, it says today's date 0 one 2011 It's 2050 when I fill this out, or 8.50 p.m. Or it's CID, which is Criminal Investigations, and this is in Apple, Georgia. Okay? I started off putting your name as Aaron, but you told me it wasn't. It was Lacey Aaron Schmidt is your full name. You're 14 years of age, and your date of birth. Okay. Your parent Lou Garden is Diane Chitty. She's your sister. Your address is 1218 Miles Road, Harlem, Georgia, 30814. You're technically in the control of your sister, Diane Chitty, and her address is the same as you. Okay. What I need you to do is to hang on to this pen right here. I'm going to read this to you, and you tell me if you understand them. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to get you to do is initial here if you do. All right. If you do not understand something, you let me know. Okay. It says you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand what that says? Okay. If you do, just initial there saying I read it to you and that you understand it. Well, what will happen if I do sign this? Hmm? What will happen? Mm -hmm. Nothing. We'll just talk. All you're doing right there is just initially saying that I read that to you and you understand it. You need to put your initials there. You just want to know yeah, how, how, however, however you do the initials, that's fine. All right. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. You have the right to consult with an attorney and have that attorney present during questioning. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm, sir. Okay. It basically means from this point forward, if we talk and there's a reason that you want an attorney, you just say you want an attorney and you want to be during the question and we'll stop asking questions and we'll stop talking. That's what that means. Do you understand that? Okay. If you don't know, let me know. All right. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be provided at no cost to represent you. you understand what that says? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so that's for, for an attorney will automatically have to fight that. Yes. Well, basically, it means if you can't afford to hire an attorney, you can have one appointed to you. Is what that means. And it don't cost you anything. All right, you can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answering questions or making statements. Do you understand what that says? Yes, sir. Okay. As we're talking, if you don't want to talk, you just let me know. All right. I'm going to read this to you, and you tell me if that makes sense. You tell me what it says, okay? It says, I understand my rights under Miranda and waive those rights freely and voluntarily. I have not been threatened coerced or promised anything. My parent guardian has granted me permission, granted permission, and I am now willing to make uh, answer questions and or make a statement concerning the shooting of Atlanta Callahan. Do you understand what that says? Okay. Do you want to talk to us about, about this? Whole thing? Yeah, about the whole thing. And we're not going, you know, we're not going to go rehash everything, but are you willing to still talk to us about it? Okay. If you are, you just sign here. And we can keep talking. Okay. Right in this area. Well, that trail is, it's right in 
No, she's over here. It's oh, over here. here. It's over there. Over here. Mm-hmm. Before you get to the trail, it goes back here. Go through the bushes over here. I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as we can make it, okay? Because I know you've been here a while, and I want you to understand from this point forward. I only want you to tell me the truth, okay? I don't want to rehash any of this other stuff that we've already talked about that may not necessarily be the truth. I want you to only tell me the truth, okay? Starting from the beginning, what happened today? Well, I told you about the thing about me being a restriction and thing like that. Mm-hmm. But I went back down to the house to tell Juan in case they because sometimes men do forget. Mm-hmm. So I went to tell her. And, well, because the other day, the door was left open, wide open, while Amanda, I mean, Miss Betty left. Mm-hmm. And I came in, and I sat down and waited for whoever to come in. She said, if anybody does break in, I want to know how to, like, use something, you know, how to defend, because mm-hmm. you don't know how to use it. Well, she, like I was saying, she grabbed it and everything was still fronting around with it. And I said, don't, don't be doing like that. Cause I don't know if it'll go off. And when I grabbed it and went to go put down the hammer to go back up and didn't want to go back up and just flew up and it went off and it shot out of my hands and, and hit her. Okay. When that happened, yeah, you said Alana was talking about wanting to learn how to shoot. I mean, is there stuff that was going on out there that scared her? I mean, she didn't a- want to be home by herself, and she she wanted to know how to use the pistol. Okay. So there's this pistol that was laid. What was the pistol at to begin with? Just laying underneath the ha- bunch of hats. And where at? I mean, you said she was near. Where, 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 where was she? She got up from the computer from on Facebook uh-huh. and went in the bedroom and got it. And I said, I don't know if I should or shouldn't. Okay. And she starts fiddling around with it, you know, doing this uh-huh. because it, it pulls back and does that. Well, it had that hammer down. I said, don't pull the trigger because it may go off because the hammer's down. I don't know how to put it on safety, nothing that, because I, I didn't even know about hardly how to use this gun. What kind of gun was it? Do you remember? A 9 millimeter. Do you remember what kind? I mean, as far as what, kind? what did it look like? It, it was probably that probably that big uh-huh. for the barrel uh-huh. and probably the stock that big. Okay. Black? And, huh? Was it blue or was it silver. stainless or silver? Silver. Silver? Okay. Stainless silver. Okay. And it had a pullback hammer. Okay. And when she pulled it back, I, I didn't, didn't know how to use the gun. I'd already told her that because she asked me twice already because this would be the second time I told her, no, I can't. Because I don't know all the gun safety is about that. And when it went off, it nailed in the head, and I got very scared. I didn't know what to do. Okay. Where were you at when the gun went off? Directly behind her. I was trying to get up on the table so it did, if it did go off, it won't hit me or hit her. But when it when I try to pull that trigger back, uh, ease it back up, the gun slid that way just a tad bit and went off. It slid off my hand. Okay. It went off. All right. Let me ask you this just for general principle, just to cover this, because I don't, I don't want to. Had you and her been having any problems? Oh, no fighting. Was, was y'all arguing about anything? Was she on Facebook saying anything to anybody? No, we're I'm not going to have all her everybody. friends. I'm not going to have all of her friends coming back knowing she just got through saying that he was over here and he was aggravating the snot out of her and blah, blah, blah. No. Come in, I know his friends will do that. You know, I know. They'll, they'll come back and they'll, you know, she was talking all this trash about Aaron was bothering all this. Like, there wasn't going to be none of that, right? No, sir. Okay. So if we check I'm with nice Facebook. I'm nice to her and I'm nice to her. Okay. Well, so if we check I'm with nice Facebook. I'm nice to her and she's nice to me. If we check with Facebook and pull that mess, we're not going to find on there where she's talking any trash about you. No, sir. Okay. So this is strictly a platonic thing between you and her now when I say platonic friends. Yes, As opposed sir. to you weren't involved with her romantically or anything, or no, wasn't trying to carry it someplace romantically, and she said no or anything. No, sir. None of that. There's no, no way possible that could be. No, sir. Okay. So you, she, she just all of a sudden has she been talking to you about this gun before about wanting to shoot it? Yeah, because she said that she her dad got a new pistol by Bruce, and I wasn't really too worried about it because mm-hmm. I know I ain't supposed to touch on them not unless but I adult around. Yeah. Well, she went in there, well, she knew where the guns are because 
they're sitting right there beside their dad's bed, mm-hmm. well, up against the wall, with a dirty 308. And a pistol was sitting there underneath a bunch of hats, just sitting there. Which, obviously, you've seen that before, right? Or did yeah. you go in there with her when she took it out? She went in there and just got it. So how did you know it was on all the hats and all that stuff? Because he put it there before he left to go to Michigan. You saw him put it there? No. I want to say he tried to... When you take it apart and put it back together, what are you doing? Cleaning it, just, just, just assembling it and cleaning it and putting yeah, it back? Yeah, that. He was doing that and he went to go put it up. Because he did... He, he wanted some help to hold his bolt, and I helped him to hold his bolt. Oh, okay. And he was okay. it, and then he put it up. Okay. And you saw where he put it. Okay. Yeah. So she went in there and got it. What, what time was this about? Uh, probably a couple minutes before. Not minutes, but probably about. This might help, this might help you out. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back. You, you went earlier and you saw Amanda up at the end of the driveway, right? I mean, tell me, you know. Yes, sir. And you told her that you won't be coming around for a couple of weeks because you're drowning? Yes, sir. Okay, and all right, we'll go from there. Well, I, had, I remember that sometimes Amanda does forget because she's all the time really, really busy. Mm-hmm. And first she'll forget things because the boys, they kind of don't do their homework right. Mm-hmm. And the man is on them 24 7. So. I went up to Alana because Alana does not. All she does is on Facebook uh, every day. She comes in just to do that. Because so uh, that's like, when you left, yeah, when you left from Amanda, where'd you go from there? Straight back to my house. And I was watching a little bit of TV, and I remembered that sometimes Amanda does forget. I didn't want to miss Betty think that I'm not over there because I don't want to be over there. Mm-hmm. So you did what? <clears throat> I went over there and went to go talk to Alana, and then Alana was on Facebook doing something with pictures, changing them out. Mm-hmm. And when I came in and she said she wanted to use this, that, and the other, or get, you know, how to use it. Mm-hmm. Well, I told her I, I probably can't because I probably don't even know how to even use the darn thing. And she said, you probably do, you probably do. And I'm like, no, I probably don't. Here's a pistol, I don't. The rifle, I do. But I'm an expert at rifles. Okay. I know how to take them apart and put them back together. All right. And she went in there and got it. And when she pulled down the hammer, I didn't know how to get the hammer back up. I tried to ease it up slowly, but. So you, you had it, and she sits back down in the chair and back on Facebook? Yes, sir. And how far behind her are you? Probably within five feet away. Okay. I'm sitting in the chair. Okay. All right. This would be her. Yes, sir. Were you standing up? Well, there's a table behind her, and I was standing up and trying to ease that trigger up, and I had to set the gun down. I right, stand up behind you and show me that. We'll see how far away. Because where how you are, mm-hmm. probably a little bit, probably a little bit further back because there's a bunch of boxes right behind us. Mm-hmm. Well, Miss Betty's got packed up mm-hmm. while I'm doing this to get it down right, and I set the gun barely on the table, and I went to go move the hammer barely up, and it slid on my hand and went off. And Alana just fell over forward. She fell over forward on the computer? Yeah. Well, no, I got scared and I was scrambling around. I was trying to... I, I, I thought I was going to be in deep, 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 deep trouble. I thought uh, I may be going to White E.C., because people think I'm trying to go out there and try to kill somebody, but I'm not. I was I was trying to be nice to her, not to, but the darn thing went off and it popped her. Popped her. So what? What'd you do with? It? You took the gun, you put it in the pocket. What'd you do? No, I, I I grabbed it. I just threw it down on the outside. I like, oh no, Amanda's coming real soon. Oh no, oh no, I, I was just. You know, when you're losing it for a minute or so. Mm-hmm. So I opened the door because she already fell forward and fell out of the chair, and the chair was laying backwards. All I did open the door and try and drag her out, but I can't really drag her. She's kind of heavy. Mm-hmm. And so I just quit. And you quit where she was at? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just left her alone, and I just... 
went and went and tried to hide the gun, and I went to go try to. I went to go inside to get my shoes, but a man had pulled up and was already going inside. I went inside to get my shoes, and I, I had to make up something where she would have been all over me, like white on rice. What would you say anything in? What I told y'all. And when you had your shoes and stuff, and you ran back out, and she like, man, I went down the truck. Where'd you go? No, I acted like I went down in the woods, and I turned around, and I acted like I was seeing her, and I was, but I was, I, I, I felt like puking when it did happen. I couldn't. I was bawling and everything. Uh -huh. I didn't mean to do it. One thing I got a question about, and I watched what you were doing over there. Investigator Evans couldn't see you. But you said when you had the gun, you said she was fiddling around with it. And she, you said she cocked it. Yes, sir. And you were saying, whoa, whoa, I don't know about that. I don't know. You know, well, you can figure it out. No, I don't know if I can hang tight. And you said you stepped in behind her to try to let the hammer bite. And the way you were doing it, when you said you was behind Investigator Evans, correct me if I'm wrong, you were standing here, I'll just say his back is to me like this, okay? You said you were back here like this at the table, and you had the gun down here like this, trying to let the hammer down, and it kind of slipped and went like that and went off, okay? Is that what you said? Yes, sir. Is that kind of what happened? Yes, sir. The only thing that I have a question about is the gunshot, from what I've been told, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, went from up, down, which meant you had to be above her for it to go the way it did. I think I was. I was right down that table. Is it possible that you were closer or any way, shape, or form could have had that gun higher than what you're saying? No, because I, I was right there for something. Well, this thing, that little thing, I went to go try to sit down, but I couldn't because it's corner. Mm -hmm. So I just stood up, and it, and it went off, and it bounced and hit the table, and it scared me, of course. Cause it sounded like a thirty thirty going off, even mm -hmm. though it was a pistol. I like I just threw it down for a minute. I was dancing around, and Alana just leaned over, making a uh, thing like that. Mm -hmm. And she just leaned forward and leaned over and fell out of the chair, and the chair went with her. Okay. Once, uh, once you make any noises when you the ground, quit moving. When she was making noises right after. Having you ever think about calling 911? I shouldn't. They don't have a house phone. I don't have a cell phone. My cell phone when it's got used up from my sister. Why didn't you just go ahead and tell Amanda when she got back down there? Something incredibly bad has happened. I don't know what the crap to do, but I need help. She needs help. She's right here. Please, God, help me. Because I think you know, I act like God did. I don't know. I had a lot on my mind. I thought they were going to hang me to my guts. Well, the only thing I can say is I think we would probably not like it more if we kept up with this whole deal about some other guy running around. You know, of course. That's just me. Um, are you sure that there's no way when you, because I mean, like I said, one of the things we're going to have to do is collect evidence from her. And because, it, is, you know where the window, I don't know if y'all went in. I got a saying, basic idea. Well, the table was right here, and there's chairs. So I went over here by the window. Right there near the computer chair. Well, it's not really near it because she screwed it up really close to the computer. Mm -hmm. Well, the glass door, and when I when I went to go do it, it hit the table and it bounced off and it went off. And when it went off, I threw the gun down. I, like I was saying, and she'd made that sound and it scared me because 
of course, it, it did happen because that's what I was afraid of happening. It did happen. And what you did, and then I got even more scared. But what I was saying is, if we go and we collect evidence from her that says that that shot was this way, as opposed to like you're talking about here or this way, how do we how do we figure that out? I mean, you didn't walk up behind let, her. Let me just didn't. say, this is the table. And here's the window. All right. Well, this pewter chair, but it's a little bit further that way. Mm -hmm. I was holding the gun like this, uh, aiming at the table, and mm -hmm. when I did, I, I wanted to try to undo the clip. Well, I took out the clip at first and set it down so it don't, like, reload and take mm -hmm. out. But I know a pistol can do that. Yeah. So I just try to ease that hammer out, and when I did, I hit the table and it leaned it up high. Well, I don't know if it hit high because all I know, my hand was up, and that thing went off, and it bounced up, and it scared me, and it scared See, that's what I'm saying. The way, I mean, the way you're trying to describe to me, the barrel would have been pointed down into the table. Yeah, but... And we'd have had a shot table. And I shot to go and try to get down in the chair, so I don't like accidents. Well, because I'm real shaky. Because mm -hmm. ADHD, that's what happens. Because of the hyper disorder. Mm -hmm. While I stay moving, while shaking and everything. Well, so I went to go sit down, so... Because every time I sit down, I, my hands will stop shaking around. Mm -hmm. But when I did and I hit that table, and it, when I hit the table, it moved the barrel like that and janked up. And it, when I when it went down like that, the trigger went out of my hand and it flew up the hammer. Okay, but what I'm saying is the way you're telling me, you're down low enough to where I'm on this side of the table. You're, doing, you're talking about across this way or this way? This way. You know what I'm saying? You're standing there. Is it shoot this way or this way? There's a line over here, or is she over here now? She's over here. She's over there, okay. And you're on this end of the table, close to her? No, this end, over here. Okay. I went to go sit down, and when I sat down, it, the barrel hit the table, and it bounced it up, and it went off. Okay. So it went off sideways. Huh? It went off sideways. All right. We found the weapon. This one was time we have it printed. Oh, oh, yeah, he's already done pretty much said. All right. Here's the deal. Whose prints are supposed to be on that gun? That's it. Okay. Whose prints? It's always on the it's always on the gun. Mom's well, prints aren't on it. Yeah. Alana's prints aren't on it. Who? Alana. Is your name Alana? Is his name Alana? No, that's Aaron. I was telling him. Yeah, that. Aaron's prints, because we got his prints on file. That's Yeah. Yeah, your prints are on it, that's all. No. And when it hit the table, it bounced stuff and it went off. And it got her in the head. So there's no way in the world that you were up behind her over the top over and shot her in the back of the head that way. There's no way that happened. You know what I'm saying? If they don't find any other prints on that gun besides yours, how do we account for a lot of holding it? You just said the last time you saw it, it had been cleaned yes, and sir. put away. She, she grabbed, grabbed it. it. But, but what if we don't I see it? Uh, I don't want to say it. act like I'm trying to try to cover up or try to act like a white dog. No, I'm, like I'm not saying that I'm you I'm not did. saying that, but... When I was going to try to lift it up, because she held it by the barrel, well, I, I grabbed the barrel with the rag, and I was going to try to ho hold it like this. And I was holding the rag just to hold in case it did go off and burn my hand. But I did have the rag on my hand and on the barrel, and doing this to try to ease it up. And when it when I when it hit the table, like I was saying. It, when it hit the table, it bounced stuff, and I lost the grip of that 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 hammer, and it went off. And it got hurt. You have been target shooting stuff outside and all that stuff before. Yeah, but I never no, used why, that pistol. Why don't you just take it outside and try to use it, use it up? Where if it went off, you know, the base of the tree or 
I wasn't thinking about that because she said she wanted to see, and I said, I don't know how to do it. What would have been just step there to the back door? That door didn't want to open. The back door that you opened to take her out wouldn't open when you had the gun in your hand to show her? I didn't even want to open. I had to snatch it open as far as I could. Yeah. Well, I wasn't thinking. Well, I still don't have a good feeling about it, but thank God. My shoes Got a phone. What kind of see you guys and you know, corner and all that stuff. And they're out there looking where that table is now and where the computer chair is. She's sitting here. And they're telling me it's not possible that the gun was fired from the table height to where it hit her. The gun was fired up, up there. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We got there all night. But the gun was fired up higher. It wasn't fired at table height. It's not possible. The way how she spun in her chair, it did happen. No, what I'm saying is that the traje trajectory, the way the bullet went in, it came from up to down. Okay? Or did it go through? The table couldn't do that. Okay? That would be down to up if it were on the table. I'm sitting here playing on Facebook. And I'm down here on the and table. Down there on the table. You see what I'm saying? The bullet's going up, but this one down. came down. So it would have to be fired from you know, up here. I never did do that, though. But I'm saying, we up here doing it? I mean, I, I'm just telling you, I, I, I'm just trying to get it. Oh, I know the gun went off and like I said. got scared. What about this rag you said you, you grabbed it with? Yeah, I Where used the, the, the rag on the kitchen. It's on the, the kitchen stove now. Okay, I'll put it back. Why did you use that huh? to grab it with? Why did you use that to grab it with? In case it went off and burnt my hand. Why were you worried about it going off and burning your hand if you were holding it the way you were supposed to be holding it? I wasn't holding it. I, was, I don't even know how to hold the pistol. How did you grab it? I had it, my hand on the barrel like this, and I was supposed to have my hand like this, right? And I'm supposed to ease it off like that. Okay, but you were standing over by the computer. Where was the where was the rag you grabbed it with? It was in my hand. How, I mean, would you grab that first? Did you grab it afterwards? Was it right there? I mean, what? what how'd you get but it? I thought I thought about it, and I went in the kitchen. I grabbed the rag, and I just put it on top of it, and I grabbed it. And then you came back to behind her to unload it? Huh? And then you came back from the kitchen to behind where she was at on the computer. So go get the rag, and I went back and grabbed the rag. And if you went over there to grab the rag, why did you come back behind her to unload it? Why didn't you just go outside? I, let, I put the pistol down on the table. That's not what you said. I didn't take it into the kitchen. You said you went into the kitchen. Got the rag. Got the rag. Yeah. And you came back in the living room, and you said that first she handed you the pistol. Yes. You had the pistol, but you had thought enough about it to go into the kitchen and get the rag and put it over the pistol. Now you're saying you didn't have the pistol, 
I know I left the pistol where I was sitting at, and I was doing it before I was even going thinking about the thing going off. I was doing like I was saying I was doing, but I was too scared to do it. I was nervous. Okay. And I was thinking about if it did go off. How about this? Why not just leave it there? I wasn't thinking about it. Just leave it there on the table and go, you know what? Neither one of us are going to touch it. When Amanda gets home, we'll let her know, hey, look, we were thinking about going out and shooting it. Dumb, but we'll just leave it there. No harm, no foul. It doesn't go off. Everything's fine. Kind of why I think it didn't happen that way is because the way you're trying to say it again yet didn't happen. Because we kept digging this further, and they'll be out there all night. I mean, if we keep sending them things to look at, they'll stay out there all night and have tomorrow if we need them to. I, I, I'm getting a little agitated, and I'm trying not to, Aaron. I really am. I'm getting to the point yeah, now where I'm, I'm trying to tell you the truth. No, you're not trying to tell us the truth. If you were trying to tell us the truth, just tell us the truth and quit trying. No. You would quit trying try- to just make stuff fit what we're telling you. Listen, we're, we're, we're telling you what the evidence is and what the facts are, okay? I know what you And we're showing that the, the trajectory it, range of that was probably way too close, and it went in our head to a diameter way. Listen, we're trying to tell you that the evidence does not, it contradicts what you're saying, okay? Mm-hmm. It's not It's not going with what you're saying, okay? We're telling you, that's flat out. There's, you, you, you can't lie about that. I mean, you can't. Mm-hmm. We can't. That's the way it is. It is, the, it is the way it is. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. So I know for a fact that that gun was not there on the table like this when it went off. Okay? No, I never did say it went off like when it like that because okay. when I when that I had gun it in my was hand. up above her. Yes. It was higher than where it went off. It was up. It wasn't down. It was up is what I'm telling you. If you were playing some kind of game, you thought it was unloaded, you come in there and you know, pow, whatever, and it went off. You didn't know it was loaded. Okay. But what I'm asking you and what I'm telling you is that's not the way it happened. Okay? Tell me the way it happened. Tell me the way it happened, Eric. We can go back and forth all night, and I can tell you that it didn't happen that way, okay? Am I going to be in trouble if I do? I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened. Huh. Okay, I was being dumb. I, I grabbed it when after she handed it to me. I was trying to do it, like I was saying, like I did. But I thought it can go back again, so I can just, you know, pull it back again. But it wasn't budging. And I picked it up, and I was going to try to go outside, but the door did not want to go open with just one hand. And I was doing that. Again, we said it just pulled back and just let out the bullet. And it didn't, and my hand was on the trigger, and it just went off. But that still doesn't figure out you're over there by the door now and not in behind her like you were. No, the glass door beside me. But what we're trying to tell you is uh, somebody... I mean, let's just pull it down to brass tacks. This happened because somebody was standing up behind her at a certain angle. I, when I, when I was doing that, I was doing this, trying to see if it will come out. Cause okay. Now you got to point it up in there. Yeah, now no, you got to point I it I have it sideways in my hands so I can grasp onto it like this and just pull it back. I was doing this, and I kept on doing that. Pulling it Where back. are you standing when you're doing this? Up against the glass door. Which would have meant she's beside you, right? No. No. Where, you know where I was saying where I was sitting at, right? Uh-huh. You right said you were sitting there. by the table. Yeah, I, gra- I picked it up and I was doing this and I was, I was looking. I actually had it pointed at me at first and I was doing that. And I, and I turned it like that and I kept on. I like. So what point? Thinking. I mean, you didn't grab the rag or anything? Did, did that, did, none of that happened, right? You didn't grab the rag? Well, I did grab the rag, but I didn't really get to use it because it didn't grab me. You're rag. confusing me more. You're confusing me more. Look, somebody, and, and, uh, no, I don't mean to cut no, you I'm off, but about. bottom line, Aaron, we I can know. run over this all day long. Listen to me. Listen to me. The only way this could have happened was somebody was standing, standing behind, behind her. behind her, and I, I stood up, and I was doing But this. you said you were over by the window. Where were you at? I mean, good Lord, you done moved all over this house. 
in this period of time. I mean, you're in the kitchen, you're over here by the thing, you're over there in the thing, back over here, back here, back there. But what happened? It and any worse than what it is right now. Just tell just the you truth. know, you're trying to sit here and fit everything into it so it sounds better. But all it comes out is it's just sounding like you're trying to cover up something. That's all it sounds like. Period. And I'm not trying to get aggravated, but good Lord, we're going to sit here talking about this now for a little while. I don't want to go to YDC. I'm scared of a lot of things. I understand you're scared of a lot of things, but the one thing that you need to be concerned about is trying to figure out what the facts are and get the facts straight. I am telling the truth about uh, doing this. and I You are trying to manipulate things to make it look a certain way is what you're trying to do. I'm manipulating this time. Yeah, sure you are. If you're not, okay, this time. I don't care about what happened prior to that gun going off. I want to know, when you had that gun in your hand, where were you at when you got it in your hands? I was standing right there behind her. Okay, and what did you do? I was trying to trying to get it get it back up, but it didn't want to go okay. up. Okay. But first I thought I was close. How close were you to her? Within two feet or closer to her. Okay. And I was, because here's what we know. The bullet went in, it went through, and it went into the keyboard. So it could not have been from the side, from over here, from over here, from over there. What we're telling you is there's only one I way to do it. Happened. like this, and I want to go do it like well, I hold it like this, and it will ease it, but it, like I said, it did slide out of my hand. It went off, and it popped it. Why? Here. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I, I, I don't know. No, you're not. Do you, do you have it in you to tell me the truth? Wait, how long I'm saying right now is well, no, you I ain't, ain't leaving. Here you see, it's the pewter chair, right? Okay. Well, I'm just saying, as far back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I'm going to push it again. Oh, yeah, just tell me. Just tell me. Well, let's just say you just turn backwards. Okay. Here's the table. Okay, this is her. What, now, what is she doing? Well, she just turned, well, was spinning first. She's spinning, but then at this then point she, she turns back around on and she's, she's tied to the computer. Thing. And she kept on, well, she kept on doing a spin again every time she was getting the message. Uh -huh. And I held it like this, and I wanted to go pull it, pull back and a little bit. And when I did, it's, I wasn't paying attention about how fast it was going to come up. But when I was standing right here. Which way was the barrel pointed? Uh, I don't know. It was facing that way. I mean, way. was it this way or was it this way? Facing that way. That way. Okay. That Keep going. To my left. And when I when I barely even tapped that trigger, it went flying up and grazed my hand. And I missed it. And it clamped on and went off and it popped. So is that how you got the pinch on your finger right there? No. This, I got pinched by the, the fence at my house. Okay. That closed down on it. So that's not from the hammer coming down and hitting you. You know what Because that's kind of what that looks like to me. I've had plenty of times where that's happened. I get a little blood blister there because no. I held it wrong. So yeah. you're holding it in your hands like this, and you're trying to get the thing to come down, and you got your finger back like this, yes, sir. and your finger's on the trigger, and all of a sudden... I barely tapped that trigger like that, and when, it, when I barely tapped it, it went... Which finger did you tap the trigger with? This finger. You had that finger wrapped in the... Yes, sir. How did you have it? I mean, how? I grabbed it by the barrel like this. Mm -hmm. You know how the barrel is. I grabbed it like that. And I eased the barely even t barely put any force to the trigger, and I, and I wasn't paying attention how fast the, that that hammer was going to come up. And when it came up, it flung up and missed my finger and it connected to it, and it went off. Okay. And it I, went. I mean, is, it, is this? Are you going to shoot yourself in the hand? No, sir. You're dang lucky. And then you look and what happens? And she just leans over and falls, and the computer chair falls and over. Are you, uh, is this about where you are in relation to her? Mm hmm. All right. I mean, she's sitting there and you're standing here. Yes, sir. Okay. Turn up seat. Well, not turn like that. But I was right behind her. So you're standing basically square behind her. Well, not close, blind. I mean, you, I mean, it's like if he's turned around with his back to her. Are you standing kind of like this behind her? 
a little bit further back like, like that. Like this, but like, yeah. like this. And you're manipulating it like this.